Okay, we are back. So uh, this time uh, Radek will uh, tell us something about the uh, unicorn, how to use this tool, right? So Radek, please, uh, your turn, right? Applause. Thanks. Um, so uh, I'm really glad here that you are here and really glad that you were coming to this event. Um, so, uh, today I will talk about Sidecar Unicorn, um, this tool, how we are using it, and how to uh, synchronize uh, easily. So, uh, maybe a few words about me. My name is Radek Kozłowski, and I am a senior Sidecar developer at the Code Center. I work with Sidecar for over three years, for now. And I really enjoy the community of Sidecar, so I contribute to this uh, with some events like here we have. Okay, um, a little agenda of my presentation. Uh, we will cover how, why we, uh, uh, why do we need a serialization, uh, and what is the unicorn, and why we should use it and how this tool improves the default serialization in Sidecar. And we will have a little demo about this uh, stuff. Okay, so why do we need the serialization? Uh, when we are developing something in Sidecar, we are creating the items uh, which are in the Sidecar databases. So there will be a time when we need to move them from the uh, instances. And this is not as easy as it looks. So we need a, a, some tool that will help us to move the templates, uh, some presentational items like layouts, renderings, or sub layouts, uh, also some setting items. And there is also a thing that we need to uh, sometimes populate the test or local environments with some items, maybe it will be the content items, from the live instances. So we will need to um, maybe update the test environment from the uh, fresh uh, content from the live. So this is, I uh, think, what we, why we are really need the serialization. And this is a really crucial thing in the Sidecar development. So, uh, there are some basic approaches that, we'll, uh, that we can uh, use uh, in Sidecar by default. One of them is Sidecar packages. Uh, this is a very simple technique. Uh, as you see, there is a um, tool uh, in Sidecar. This is an uh, application in Sidecar that we can create a package. Uh, package is uh, only uh, some kind of zip uh, which can be created in the sidecar and can be then installed on the other environments. But this is so simple, but this is an error prone because uh, we sometimes uh, forget to add something like uh, templates where we create a a new template and uh, some other um, content items based on the template and when we will try to install that uh, zip that package on the other instance it might may, might uh, create an error so this is rather suitable for some ad hoc actions just if we need something to and be moved uh, just for a while uh, and for full model packages which are shipped uh, and are can be downloaded from the Sidecar marketplace so uh, yeah that's why we are creating packages uh, the other one is just a simple serializing items it's not the name with what is good but I just name it something like this uh, this is a default sidecar mechanism to serialize the items in uh, the sidecar. 
Um, uh, it needs a, a manual action to do it. So there is a ribbon uh, uh, in the sidecar. Uh, by default, this is hidden, but it can be shown. Um, and it needs a manual action to do it. But I think it can be automated, but you need to just uh, write some code. And the most, uh, the, the, the very uh, bad thing about this, it is very dangerous. If there might be a situation when we would uh, click on the rubber uh, item, or revert three element when there will not be a serialized items uh, all of the items which might be reverted will be just removed from the database without any alert so yeah that's really dangerous stuff I think uh, to help with that uh, that things there is a unicorn is the utility that solve that issues uh, using this stuff, uh, we can move items between sidecar instances. So that's why we are using it. This stuff was created initially by a developer which has name uh, Cam Fiji. I think he is working now with a connective DX as it is in the logo. Uh, this stuff can automatically serialize item changes. So when you change something in the sidecar, when we have a unicorn, it will just serialize those changes and you will see in the maybe sorcery or, or tortoise uh, anything that uh, you're used to in your repository that something has changed and you should probably comment these changes. So, yeah, this I think is a very nice thing about this. And the sidecar items, uh, as I said, uh, are serialized to just a files. And, yeah, can be moved by this repository instead of that error prone packages. So, this is what, what is the unicorn. Um, one of the elements of unicorn is the rainbow. Uh, is a system which completely replaces the default serialization uh, system in Sidecore and it adds a new serialization format and file system organization. So uh, the files are now in YAML based serialization format and they are stored, stored in something like SFS serialization file system. And this is very advanced stuff. It adds a lot of features uh, to the, instead of the default one. As I said, it has a YAML, which is a format that is, uh, that can be uh, uh, that can be really well read by a human. Here we have a default uh, default format used in Sidecore. So as we see, it has a lot of uh, stuff that is we don't really need of this. Uh, we have a field ID, uh, some name. Also a key, which is uh, a lot of times just something really uh, like the name. We also have a content length, so if we will uh, merging our changes, we need to recalculate that field, and yeah, it should be changed. Also, as we see here, uh, there is a field which has uh, GUIDs and is uh, really, really badly uh, merged with the repository. So that's why Unicorn comes with a YAML. And the YAML makes it more 
um, less complex and it doesn't add non-essential data. They are just in a YAML comments just to make the human readable. So um, there are some like comments. If you really want to edit it by a hand, uh, you will just go to some comment and you will, uh, you will know that this is filled for this purpose. And it also by default ignores the field that are just analytic stuff, like the updated field, uh, which is just the one that was updated. And if we was realizing that stuff, it will always be changing and we need to revert this or just uh, commit, but it's not a good idea to do something like this. And as a, it was in the previous page, we here had the, this very, very long uh, field which has a grid separated by the pipes. Uh, don't even fit in the screen. So, yeah, it should be really changed. And in the YAML, this is in uh, every grid is in the another line. So we are just setting what will um, separate this and it will be a really well merged with the repository. Yeah. And the serialization file system uh, adds this hierarchy may make it more human readable. So if we wanted to serialize some uh, some paths it doesn't need to a uh, sidecore or maybe a content also uh, branch. We just set the root just what we want. So we may have a path in the maybe a content, the sidecore content, uh, some folder for the websites and our website name. And we can start serializing from our website name. So it won't have uh, that ne not needed stuff. It adds uh, extremely long name support for this and uh, the path is unlimited. Mm. Okay. And why we should use this? Yeah, we should use a uh, tool with Unicorn to solve the problem of moving psycho items to the instances. So, uh, it will be a really uh, easy to to move that items where, where we, we just serialize them. So we can just serialize, push to the repo, and uh, synchronize on the server. It helps great merging changes, as I said before. But we, when we have uh, YAML, which is really well merged, and also it saves the time of item deployments, it can be automized, automatized. Uh, and this is also a uh, transport sync, which can automatically synchronize the items which has changed when we was just taking the changes, the comments from the repository. It can be automatically done by uh, the Unicode. So yeah. This is something like this. Uh, there is something similar to this. Uh, this is a TDS. Uh, it stands for Team Development for Sidecore. Uh, uh, this is not an open, uh, open source. Uh, it has some price. So yes. Uh, it's a re really great tool. Uh, it, uh, is, it comes from the Hedgeco development. Uh, something uh, that is really different from the Unicorn is that it is focused on the user's choice. So when we are using the Unicorn, uh, it stores all the all of the uh, items in the file system, uh, and when we are just taking the changes from the repository, it just knows that the master uh, 
the master source of the data uh, is the hard drive, is the disk. But in TDS, we need to check what we uh, wanted to synchronize, and it just leaves the choice for the users. Uh, TDS uh, uh, adds a uh, um, new windows to the Visual Studio when you can uh, by using this windows just click uh, on these items and this is why we are uh, this is why uh, what we are doing to create uh, some configuration for uh, what we will be taking also we need to choose what we want uh, be changed in our database so yeah, it gives uh, the user to ma he must choose what he what he want what he want. But uh, the unicorn is uh, more simple. Just you, when you are collecting the uh, changes from the repository, uh, it uh, will uh, know that you are want the, those changes, and it will do uh, it will do a choose for you. I will show you a, a little demo how we are using it. prepared a solution with Visual Studio. The, how we are uh, installing the Unicorn is just uh, install the Nugget package because it is shipped with a, a Nugget. So yeah, it's just a package uh, and also uh, this package uh, comes with some dependencies uh, because uh, Rainbow, uh, this uh, serialization library, uh, it's, uh, can, it can be used without the unicorn. So, yeah, you can just use it uh, without using unicorn and you will have YAML based uh, serialized items. So, uh, I have it installed and it basically adds uh, new configuration files uh, to our solution. Uh, okay, I have prepared also some changes uh, just to not doing this uh, because it might be a long of this. Uh, the first uh, thing which you are doing, configuring the Mm, Unicorn uh, is to create a configuration. So there is by default one configuration, and here we have what we will get from the database. So um, it's just a configuration file, and we will here by default have layouts taken from the path. Site called layout, layouts your site. Uh, there is also some templates. Uh, we can always exclude something, so it gives us the uh, more flexibility. Because um, if we just uh, use the default one from the site call, the default serialization, we won't have that choice. So. It's more really more flexible, and also we need to set uh, the folder where all those files will be saved. So by by default, uh, all of them are set in the data folder. But when we are using, uh, uh, we are deploying. Uh, our solution to the web route, 
So this is a solution out of Leverud. Uh, it won't be a good option for us because all the changes will be just there and our repository will not uh, will not uh, see it. So it's really a good idea to change it. I will switch my uh, commit and I will show you now they have changed so basically we need to um, change uh, the uh, set the serialization folder so I will just provide something like change in uh, this is a unicorn custom serialization folder So it's a good idea to set it to our project, so when we will be uh, changing some items or adding in, uh, our, repos our repository will see it. So, yeah, now I have it set to our, uh, I will have a serialization storage folder. Uh, I have it now, uh, and it is serialized now because I was doing it earlier. I will show you now how to how it works. So I will publish my website now. I just need some time to build, publish, I will reload, go to the sidecar. Just need some time. Uh, it takes some time for the stuff. So let's wait for a few moments. Just for now, that we only just need the templates from the sidecore templates my side. Let's try it. I will go to the unicorn, which is in the slash unicorn.aspx, and this panel gives me an option to create an uh, initial serialization so I will need to perform initial serialization like this probably you just sold it on Voidex presentation some fancy unicorn and it will create uh, default serialization items for me uh, so all of the items that are under the templates my site are serialized uh, Let's find out what uh, I had there. It was a template my site, and as you see, there were, there were uh, some files that was created. So, um, yeah, this is something like I uh, was showing you. It's a very human readable, and I know everything that is here is uh, in the YAML so I can really basically change it and merge in the repository also uh, if I go to the site call and change something let's do it
I will just add a new template under the templates my site. And make it maybe yeah. Test test template. Next in my site. And was great successfully. Let's close it. I will add some texture section, the general. And uh, with maybe a title. Let's save it. And let's check out what was changed. Yeah. So, um, now I have it, some changes visible in the repository. So I will now, and now I can uh, select them and just um, add to my uh, new comment. So there will be visible in the repository. So this is something like this. Um, yeah. And as I mentioned before, uh, uh, I need, uh, if I wa really wanted uh, to this be done automatically, uh, the changes which, which I was taken from the repository uh, later, I need to set the uh, enable transport sync to true. So I will now I will just uh, change my comment because I was uh, I have prepared some changes in my repository. Okay, changes to this. I just need to remove it all. to this and this is a situation when I was uh, taking the changes or was pulling the um, changes from the repository and maybe some other developer adds something I need to serial, uh, synchronize it with the unicorn I will go to the uh, unicorn panel and I need to click uh, sync if I would want it to make it manually let's sync and now I see that something has changed. Uh, there was some deletions uh, from the repository, and as I see, uh, it was uh, removed. So one of the developers just removed this, and I I, I know uh, that everything uh, was what was needed to be changed uh, is really visible. So this is something like this, and. If I really wanted to make it automatically, so I will not be uh, will not be needed from my side to go every time to this uh, panel and click on this synchronize. I will just uh, set enable transparent sync to true. I will just publish only this. Uh, okay, let's publish. I go back to my sidecar and after uh, it will load I will show you that a change made by me uh, will be automatically uh, synchronized so um, yeah uh, I would need to um, change something now I will basically um, this. There is a change that the transparent sync is sent to true. Uh, I will commit it. is set now uh, I will um, add something uh, in the templates uh, my site I will uh, add a change which is 
just need to pull in without anything, just to show you. It was changed, it always staged it. She committed. So now uh, the change is visible, but if I um, change it just to get back uh, to the place where that item wasn't uh, in the sidecar, we'll go back to this one. And it automatically removed this because uh, I was uh, I get back to the place where the this item wasn't uh, in this place. So this can uh, really save your time because you will just not need to go every time to the uh, sync page. I think it's uh, everything uh, about uh, the demo. So, um, uh, some conclusions about the Unicorn. Uh, I think it's an extremely good cycle module because uh, it adds you an uh, option to very easy, easily synchronize the items, even even where if we if you want need to do it manually. Uh, you can uh, can automate your serialization, yeah, and I think it's a bit harder to configure than the TDS because in TDS you just have uh, those windows like uh, uh, like, uh, like windows, so uh, you need to uh, create some configuration files. But this is free stuff, so yeah, uh, and it adds a lot of improve improvements, uh, just like the rainbow, which comes with the, the YAML uh, serialization format and it adds a, a SFS uh, serialization file system which is uh, a lot better than the uh, default one in Sidecore. So I think that using Unicorn uh, is a really good idea in these Sidecore projects. So yeah, uh, thank you for listening to my presentation. Uh, if you wanted to have some questions for me, I have my blog and I post uh, so from time to time uh, the posts there. I have a Twitter account and my company's page is a color center, also you can send me an email if you want. And that's all. Thank you very much. Uh, if maybe you have uh, some questions. Exactly, yeah. maybe someone has a question. Yeah. About the unicorn. There is also a uh, so book. I think that everyone, uh, well, right now, know, know everything about the unicorn, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so thank you very much okay, for thank listening. You. Applause. Right. Okay, so uh, I think that we need uh, to do another break, right? So again, five minutes, and we will be back with uh, Adam presentation about the uh, PowerShell extension, right? So, yeah, good. Five minute break.